your eyes closed or just gently open. Reach your fingertips high. So get a lot of length in the side body, starting right at the lower rib. So they don't start at the shoulders, thinking from reaching from really low up to your fingertips. Take another inch of stretch and then twist, go on over to your right. Lower your shoulders, lift the crown of your head, get all that length in the back body, the spine. And then as you exhale, rotate, coming right from your heart center. One more time on this side, big inhale. And then exhale, lower the shoulder and twist. Okay, and back through center, reach the hands. Breathe in. And then exhale over to your left. Just warming up the spine, getting into our breath. One more inhale here. And then exhale, twist. Take a full breath in, come through center. And then come onto all fours. Going into cat cow. So shoulders right above your wrist, hips right above your knees. Pause for a cycle of breath. So just feeling yourself rooted, nice flat spine on the table. That's the term, tabletop. And then on your inhale, let your chest come forward. Exhale, push your mat down. Just let your head relax. Two more times, spreading the fingers open up. And then exhale, curl and round. One more time, inhale. And exhale. And come to a neutral spine. So I usually don't do this right at the beginning, but it's a special day. Lift your hips, down dog. So start pedaling out your feet. Or if you just went right to stillness, stay there. Just go with your instincts. Spread the fingers really wide, just like we did in cat and cow. And let your heels drop back. So again, if you found some movement felt good, bending one knee, lowering the other heel down. Then take a full inhale, come up on your tiptoes. Bend your knees and walk up to your hands. Come right into a forward fold pose. So feet can be hip distance even wider. Just let your head relax. Maybe bend the knees. And then shake your head. Yes, nod your head. No, just get your neck out of the picture here. Sometimes rocking from side to side feels good. Then let your hands drop down. Inhale, monkey pose. Nice straight spine, just like in tabletop. Exhale, dive over your legs. Two more times. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold your upper body. Inhale, lift, lengthen. Exhale, and fold. You can bend your knees as little or a lot. Take your hands to your hips. And roll all the way up. So reach your fingertips high. And then palms together. Close your eyes. If you set an intention when you practice, now is as good a time as any. I found a quote I'm going to read. Maybe it expires, expires, inspires some kind of an intention. Uh, notice that the stiffest tree is most easily cracked, while the bamboo or willow survives by bending with the wind. So going with the flow, so hard to do. Okay, so we're going to go with the flow. Take a big inhale. Exhale completely. Push down in your feet, reach your fingertips high. And then take your right hand down, your right leg. Nice side stretch on the left side seam of the body. Nice. Then inhale, reach up. Exhale, opposite side. So left hand gets really heavy. One more time, each side. Reach up. Exhale. One more. Big breath, and then 
and release that breath. Okay, back through center, and then palms come together. We're going to go through some Okay, we're going to go through sun A a couple of times to build heat. So let's go. Take a big breath in, reach up, and then exhale, dive over your leg. Plant your hands and then step your right foot back and your left. Pause in plank. So really zip up the lower belly and even dome the upper back a little bit. We're going to stay for about 45 minutes. Just kidding. We're going to stay for two rounds of breath. So take a big inhale, lengthen from crown of the head to the heels. Exhale. Two more times. Inhale. Exhale. And throw in a third. Inhale. And then onto your knees. If you're not, lower all the way down. We're going to do three cobras. Inhale, lift, really coil up the chest. Exhale, lower your forehead. Inhale, lift as you pull your palms down into the mat. Push, rather. Forehead down. One more time. Inhale. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Take two full cycles of your breath. Really press into your finger pads. Let your breath go. One more time, big breath, and exhale, come up on your tiptoes, and work your way to your hands, lengthen and lift halfway, exhale, dive over your legs, push into your feet, and then all the way up, palms right back at the heart center, do one more of those, take a breath in, exhale, fold forward, Plant your hands, step back, hop back to plank pose, and then lower half or all the way down. Open your chest, maybe lifting your knees and thighs for up dog, and then exhale, downward facing dog. Two full rounds of breath, please. So really long, maybe count to four. And then on your exhale, come to four. One more time here. Fill yourself up. And then make space. Okay, come up on your tiptoes. Bend your knees, hop or step up to your hands. Just lengthen and lift halfway. Exhale, dive over your legs. Leave your right foot where it is. And then step your left foot for the back of the mat. A big breath here. Fill yourself up. Exhale. Really activate that back leg. On your breath in, lengthen your right leg. Exhale. Step on that right foot. Look up. Two more times. Lengthen. And look up. One more. Inhale. And exhale. Really press down into your right foot and reach your left heel to the sky, standing split. A little bend in that right knee, perhaps. Take a full breath and then start bending the right knee again and replace the left foot down. On your breath in, right heel high, three dog, three legged dog, three dog. Bend your knee and then circle out that right knee. Inhale, right heel high. Exhale, down dog. This is where we'll end up or go to a vinyasa to get there. Rock forward, plank. Exhale to lower. Breathe into your back bend. And then back we go to down dog. Okay, second side. Come into it a little more different, a little differently. Take your feet together, lift your left heel. Curl and round the left knee in, and then keep it going right behind your right thumb. This time the left foot forward, right foot back. Take a full breath in to lengthen your left leg. Step down on that left foot, look up, shoulders back. Two more times, lengthen, track and bend 
Inhale, left knee. Inhale. And exhale. And get the left foot ready. Step even harder down on that left foot and lift your right heel. Standing lift. Maybe find movement in that right ankle. That feels good. Then start bending the left knee again. Step back with the right foot. Breathe in to lift your left heel. And then exhale. Both heels really heavy. Circle out the left knee. Inhale, left heel high. Exhale, downward dog. Three cycles of breath. So do one thing a little more or a little less than last time. Either back off or deepen with your breath. Do one thing differently. And then exhale. Come up on your toes. Bend your knees. Upper step up to your feet, lengthen and lift, and then exhale, dive back down. All right, same thing again, just a little more quickly. Just keep the right foot there, step that left foot back. Your first breath in, starting right at that right hip, straighten your right leg. Inhale, look up, lengthen. Step and look up, really drive the shoulders back. One more time, step on that right foot and elevate your left leg. I'm gonna stay for two rounds of breath, either leave well enough alone or maybe try to find some balance here. One hand coming to your ankle, maybe two. Full breath in, start bending your right knee, step your left foot back and just go right to your down dog. Just too exciting, we have the second side to do. So take a breath in, lift your left heel. Exhale, curling round, and again, left foot right back to the left hand. Take a breath in, lengthen your leg. Step down on that left foot and look up. Lengthen, track and bend the knee right over the ankle. One more time, lengthen your leg, and then step down on that left foot, elevate your right leg. So whatever you did on the first side, give it a go. And then bend your left knee, step your right foot back, step your left foot back, downward facing dog. shoulders, 
and I just talked my way through about two breaths. So take one more, and then exhale, cheeks to the side, bend your knees, and go ahead and windshield waiver. Okay, lower your feet down, take a breath in, cobra pose, maybe higher than usual, and then exhale, downward facing dog. Strong down dog, lift your right heel up,
one more full inhale, just a full breath in that just has to become an exhale. It's so full and juicy. Okay, second time. So bring your feet to touch. Inhale, right heel. Exhale, curl it around. Step up to your warrior one. Really emphasize that back foot. And then clasp your hands. Open your chest. Really puff it up. And then fold inside your right leg. Right knee, rather. Take a full breath. Push down in your feet. Reach up to warrior one. And then open up warrior two. Right away, inhale. Reverse the warrior, but keep the bend in that knee. Warrior two. Two more times. Inhale, left, nice, heavy left hand. Exhale. One more. Inhale, reach it back and straighten your right leg. Take a full stretch in that right side. Breathe in. And then exhale, tree kanasana. Triangle pose. Take a full breath. And then a quick pit stop to warrior two, and we'll meet in down dog. Okay. I'm going to do that again and add on just a little bit if you get the drift now. So inhale, right heel up. Exhale, curling down, rise on up. Warrior one, left foot. Clasp your hands, pop open your chest. And then as you breathe out, fold inside the left knee. Make sure that left hip isn't jutting forward, kind of just sink it back. Then inhale, warrior one, and open up to warrior two. Breathe in, flip your front palm, exhale. Back to warrior two, reach it back. One more time to two, and then reach it back, straighten your left knee. Such a good stretch in that left side body. Breathe in there, and then as you exhale, drop into tree konasana. Full breath here, and a full breath out. Then back into your knee, and step back, downward dog. Inhale, heel high. Exhale, curl it around and take it right feet up behind your thigh. Rise up. And right away, clasp your hands. So open the chest, really take that breath. And then fold within your knee. And push down, like really mush your feet down. And rise up and then to warrior two. Open it up. Inhale, reverse. Exhale. One more time. And inhale, reverse. Exhale. And then reach it back at that side stretch. And then back to tree kanasana. Okay, then warrior two. And come on back to down dog. right knee into your chest just for a moment and then cross that right ankle over on top of the left knee so it's really that pigeon number four on our back but we happen to be in down dog so press your right heel back right knee back in space opening up that right hip take a breath in and a breath out pull the right knee back in and then step it back to down dog. Let's do the other side. Inhale, left heel up, and then round it in. Then take that left heel back, right on top of the right, really lower thigh. Any amount you want to kind of sink the left uh, left knee back, kind of emphasizes the stretch even more. So take a breath, and then back to 
to your down dog, bend your knees, walk your hands back to your feet. So before you even rise up, take your peace sign fingers around the big toes. Take a breath in, lengthen, and then exhale, fold over your legs. So pulling up on the toes and pressing down too. Let your head relax. Take a moment, check in with how you feel. How's the breathing? Then release your toes. Take your hands to your hips. Roll all the way up to standing. Okay. Now, we're going to take that number four, but from a standing position. So press down hard into your left foot. And cross your, again your ankle over that knee. Maybe palms come together. Take a full breath. Sitting back in the heel just like in chair. Then come back up, pull your knee into your chest, and then lower it back down. All right, second side. Now you know how to do this. Start by pulling your knee in, and then cross it over. Wow, this side doesn't really appreciate what I'm doing. So take a full breath, find a drishti, easing point, and sink back into the heel. Then leg goes straight up. Okay, lower your foot down. Okay, take a full breath, celebrate that that's over. And then exhale, fold over your leg. Step back, find plank pose, pause. Again, that little dome in the upper back. And then come down, clasp your hands coming into dolphin plank, just as a starting point. So still that little dome in the upper back. You can walk your feet in if that's comfortable. Take a full breath here. Press back into your heels and the crown of the head going the other way. And then walk your feet in closer to your body. Kind of down dog in the lower body. Either stay here or maybe lift the right heel high, bend the right knee, and then replace it. Maybe lift the left, really engaging the core to lift that leg high, bend your knee, and then back to dolphin, and then back to dolphin plank. Lower all the way down to finding Pose. So forearms are a number 11, spreading the fingers. So same deal. This is such an easy pose to just kind of slump down, but we won't. So spread the fingers, engage the core, even engage the glutes. And then take your right forearm in line with the front of your mat. Bend your left knee. So stretching that thigh. And then reach back. Left foot to left, left hand to left foot, I should say. If you have a strap or any kind of belt or something, that's always helpful. You should have announced that at first. Full breath in and lower your foot down. And right into the second side. So left forearm parallel with the front of your mat. Bend your right knee. Try to have it close to your left. And then reach your right hand back. Pushing the foot and the hand into each other. Give yourself a breath. And then exhale, lower down. Forehead down. Make a, make a pile with your hands. Rather. Take your forehead onto your hands. Again, you can kind of shimmy from side to side, or maybe you can do those good old windshield wipers. And then locust pose we did could either do that again or maybe intensify it a bit and go into bow pose. So you know locust, you may even know bow, but bend both knees if you're going up. Let your head, chest, and shoulders lift and then reach back. Feet, ankles, pants, whatever. Really stretching the front of the body. Lift your knees up. <clears throat> And have those ribs knitting in. Take a full breath, maybe rocking. If you're in locust, keep locusting. And then exhale.
exhale, cheek to the side, bend your knees. And show my bird. Then lower your feet down. Inhale, cobra pose. Exhale, downward facing dog. From your down dog, lift your right heel up. Exhale, curl and round. And take let the right knee come down. The right knee and leg come down in the bent position. Take an inhale, lift your left foot up. Exhale, press that left heel back and lift your right hand. So right fingertips drawing away from the left heel. Breathe in. And then as you exhale, curl and round. So cat pose in your spine. Inhale, find length. Exhale, curl and round. One more time. Inhale, more length. And then exhale, right hand and left knee come down. Open your chest, find cow. Exhale, curl and round. Come back to neutral and second side we go. I'm going to get into it obviously different. So keep the left knee down, lengthen your right leg back. Reach your left fingertips away. Breathe into all that space. And then exhale, curl and round. Take a full breath in, length. Exhale, engage the core. Take a breath in. Last time, exhale. Place the hands, the knees, and open your chest. Let your shoulders drive back. And then exhale, I was going to say down dog, cat pose. Back to a neutral spine and back to our down dog. From down dog, bend your knees. Walk your hands back. It's time for Pada Hastasana. So take your feet hip distance, lift your toes, and slide your hands underneath your feet. Yes, that is a pose. So take a breath in, lengthen, use your back, and then exhale, dive over your legs around with rocking the weight to the toes, back at the heels. Let your breath relax here. Then lift the toes enough to unslide the hands and roll all the way up to standing. Coming into tree. It's like my quote talked about. So let's see Willow Tree. So press down in your right foot. Find your version of tree today. So bottom of that left foot, squeezing into the midline, and the, the long leg we're standing on is pressing down. And when you wobble, if you wobble, like me, staying with the breath. Take a full breath in, drawing in at the midline and up through the crown of your head. Take a breath in and exhale, lower that foot down or stay as long as you would like. Wow. Good job, guys. <laughs> Take a breath, clear it out, and then exhale back inside. One thing that's not moving, making sure that left hip doesn't jet out, which it wants to do usually. Take a full breath in your tree, and then lower it down when you're ready. No rush. Wow, well, you guys could just finish class here. Kathy, whoa. Okay. I was long done. All right, take a breath in, and then exhale, fold over your legs. We're going to come into pigeon kind of in a weird way. So come in onto take into tabletop. From tabletop, take your right knee up to your right wrist. Walk that left leg way back, knees with the big toe. Take a moment to sit up really tall, lengthen. And then as you exhale, fold over your right knee. You can always take this on your back, just doing another one of those number fours with the legs that we did a few times. 
Staunton wherever you possibly can. So the eyes squinting or teeth clenching, let all of that just breathe away. yourself another complete round of breath. Exhale. Roll on up to seated. Come back to your tabletop. Actually, you know what? Come to down dog. I think it would feel really good to bend that right knee and circle out the right, right knee. Getting that outer hip. Inhale, right heel up, exhale down dog, and then tabletop to the second side. So bring the left knee up to your left wrist, walk your right foot way back, go further than you think it can. And then inhale, puff up the chest, really open up, take all of the length in your spine over your left knee. And obviously if you're doing this on your back, you just switch to number four. Forward folds are just, usually at least for me, when thoughts come like racing in. So just staying calm, breathing the thoughts away. If they're really worthwhile, they'll be there. Once you've emptied out your breath, come back up. Again, step back down. We're done. Last one. Enjoy it. And bend that left knee. Well, the bow feels really heavy, so you can open up that left knee. Lower down, downward dog. And then forward once again. Final tabletop. Walk your left hand to the center of your mat. Take your right arm out like a airplane wing and weave it underneath the left arm. Coming onto your right shoulder. So press into your left hand any amount. Close your eyes here. Start slowing down. Another full breath. And then exhale all the breath. Push down into your left hand, back to table, and then take the opposite hand in the middle. Out like an airplane wing, and then weave it on under. One side is usually more like finicky, hard to get the right spot, but just take the time to set it up.
take a breath in, come through center, and just switch sides. Keeping the legs active, flexing your feet. Inhale, back to center, palms to your heart. Uh, make sure you have room in back of you because we're going to roll back. Pull your knees into your chest, sit up really tall. And then that roll of that, make circles with the lower back. If you're stirring a big pot. And then switch the stirring direction. The knees into your chest. Breathe in. As you exhale, Drop your knees over to the right, so keeping them bent and stacked. You can make, if you could bend your left elbow, making like half T arm, or lengthen your left arm long, close your eyes. Maybe think about wringing out this week before prior week. Just making space, kind of wringing out anything we just don't need with us going into a new week. Then inhale, roll it back up, give your knees a squeeze. And then as you exhale, gently drop the knees over to the left.
let yourself be in the ease part of your practice. luxury of staying in Shavasana longer this evening, please don't let me get in the way of that. If you are going to transition back into your evening, start adding small movements. So just wiggle the fingers, the toes, then maybe the larger joints, the ankles, the wrists. Then with eyes closed, carefully over to one side with a pause, a full cycle of breath, just to pause, check in with how you feel. Gently press into your hands in no rush. Come back up to any seated posture. Could have changed. Your hands together at heart center, your chin bowing towards your chest. And again, notice that the stiffest tree is most easily cracked, while the bamboo or willow survives by bending with the wind. By the way, that's by Bruce Lee. So as we enter into another week, who knows what it brings. I hope for all of you, all